Let's talk about placeholder X in ICD-10-CM because if you're not using it correctly, it can mess up your whole code structure. Now, some ICD-10-CM codes have to be seven characters long, but we might not have the characters yet for some of those spaces. So what do we do? That's where placeholder X comes in. Here's an example. If we have code V17.1, it tells us that we need a seventh character. Now, this is for a pedal cycle passenger injured in collision with fixed or stationary object in non-traffic accident, and we need to know if it's an initial, subsequent, or sequela. So if it's an initial, we would put that A in the seventh character spot. That's where it has to go. But what about these spaces here? We can't just leave them empty. So we fill them in with our placeholder X to make sure that we have this seventh character here in the right spot. You'll see that seventh character X is most often used in things like injury, poisoning, and external cause codes because we need that seventh character extender and it has to go in the seventh character spot. If you leave it out, that's an invalid code and your claim can get denied.